Hi, it's the Pastor Fire Nerd, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the new features in Windows 7. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on some of the programs that are included in Windows 7 and some of the programs that are missing from Windows 7. Um, first of all, Windows Full Gallery, Windows Movie Maker, Windows Mail, Windows Calendar, Windows Meeting Space, and Windows Contacts are now missing from the operating system. Um, alternate downloads wouldn't be would be Windows Live Photo Gallery, Windows Live Movie Maker, Windows Live Mail, with Calendar Incorporated, and Contacts. Um, ca contacts are included by Windows Live Contacts using your Windows Live ID, and the same goes with Calendar. Windows Live Movie Maker does not include the same features of Windows Movie Maker, as you can see. It only holds one, two, three, four effects and only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, seven effects and four transitions. Um, it has basic features like text box, trim, and add and remove, and add a video and add a song, and that's pretty much it. Um, some of the programs that are have been updated would be the on-screen keyboard, calendar, paint, and Windows Media Player. So let me just start off with the on-screen keyboard. The on-screen keyboard just now looks a bit more fancier and a lot more uh, nicer looking. Um, Windows Calculator now allows you to convert measurements. So let's go from one centimeter to one inch. 0 0.339 point blah 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 whatever um another so yeah windows media player now is now windows media player 12 so let's see about windows media player windows media player 12.0.7600 which is windows 7 art uh windows 7 final release and 16385 is the means that it's the RTM. Um, Windows uh, Media Player and Windows 7 now includes some more features and some less features. It's a lot easier to use and it also incorporates the ribbon interface. Well, somewhat ribbon interface. Um, so, Another program would be Paint. And WordPad. As you can see in WordPad, it incorporates all the um, features of old WordPads in Windows, and older versions of Windows. And it's just, just a lot more easier to use, and a lot more user friendly, and a lot nicer looking than now that it incorporates the ribbon interface. Paint now uses a ribbon interface and now includes a lot more features like drawing different shapes and arrows, and different kinds of brushes, and is a lot more easy to use than it now incorporates the ribbon interface. It also incorporates the size, uh, multiple colors for different, um, for both clicks. So for left click would be black and right click output is red. So when I right click and draw, it'll be a black arrow, and when I left click and draw, it'll be a red arrow. So let's go black, red. Simple like that. A program that's been updated is Sticky Notes. It hasn't been much of an upgrade, it's just more of a, it's more basic than it was in Windows Vista, wh whereas Vista was, allow was allowing you to create voice, no voice, voice notes, but now it's more of the notes app from the Windows sidebar. Um, also, in Messenger, there's been a bit of an update. See, as you can see, the um, there's no border around the window. It's just it's a lot more nicer looking and see with the border it looks like this and 
without it, it looks more like this, and it looks a lot nicer. Um, so that pretty much concludes all the um, program updates in Windows 7. Um, there has not, there is a bit more updates, but they're little, they're a lot smaller, and there's not much of a difference, and it's not worth showing you. Like Windows Media Center, it's just been um, updated a lot. Uh, not by a lot, but it's just a lot nicer looking, and yeah, um, that concludes the um, Windows 7 programs uh, showing. Um, so thank you for watching, and um, comment, rate, and subscribe. Goodbye.